Welcome to the simulation. Today on the completion series in Scorched Earth, we're going to go for moths with the tent strategy and show off the new base location and get some crystal because there's none near Green Ob. I have to fly all the way over to either red or blue to get crystal because I checked the resource map and there's like none here. So we're going to head off and do that. Also, this looks just like the Sky Titan from this angle. What you want to do, pull it, place the tent over it. It should be stuck, then you just knock it out. Uh, ideally, you want to use like darts, but this is all I got for now. We're just going to knock it out with arrows. It has a 35% chance of dying when using arrows. Keep that in mind, be careful. They do take headshot multiplier. I'm going to give it a few seconds to let the torpor kick in. Please don't die. So dark. Uh, please don't die. If it dies, it's just not worthy. Okay, it's out. Ooh, okay, so these, for some reason, I thought they ate meat, but they actually eat berries. So, I need to go get some. Oh, no. Shut that. I need to go get some uh, mayo berries. I forgot that. I always forget something when I'm taming, because I'm horrible about that. Alright, 100 should do it. Alright, all teamed up. And we're too heavy. Okay, so I dropped enough stuff. Uh, to be able to fly. <laughs> this is amazing. Just for the fun of it, I'm going to attempt to steal a wyvern egg with one of these eventually. Not this episode, of course. But this is just amazing. I love moths. They can't attack, but they can do this, which makes you run out of stam and uh, pull you down tremendously. Oh, this guy has like no stamina. I think I'm gonna name you like a lamp. But since the bug update, these things can breed now, I'm pretty sure, so I might do that this episode. I found it. A little bit of crystal, kind of close to green, not really. I'll grab it. Two hundred. Hopefully, we can carry that. Nope. Decisions. This way, like twenty-four pounds. I kind of need it though. We missing. Wood. Oh well. Do not want to die up here. Uh, spyglass. I might have to drop some of it, even though I don't want to. Okay, I do not need that much fiber. I can just get more. Thatch. How are we now? Okay, we can fly. Alright. Now I'm going to look for notes and more moths. Hopefully, better level. Another thing I want to mention really quick, because I seem to forget everything I want to mention until the video is over, but I am allowing myself to bring over all my blueprints from the previous uh, map, because, I mean, I think that's, that's fine, because it's not like I'm reading over items. It's not making it much easier. It's just... So, I mean, some maps have BPs that you can't get on other maps, so it just makes sense. How'd this little sausage get up here? 25? But, 120. Okay, so max is 150, so it's not insanely high, but that's, that's pretty good for a wild card map. So, go ahead and knock this one out. It's just... Oh, it's bugged out. 
Oh, it's bugged out so bad. Um. Yeah, we're gonna have to bowl it first. I get stuck. Wait, which one is this? Okay, so this be another male. I just wanted to find one decent one, and then we can tame a low level of the opposite gender and breed them. Cause I definitely want to see a baby moth. Alright, we're gonna take your saddle. Give it to this one once it's tamed. These guys actually have a lot of weight. I mean, I know my weight's boosted, but they actually have high weight for what they are. Alright, oh yeah, that's, that's so much better. Alright, I'm gonna find... Uh, I'm gonna look for a high-level female, but I'm not gonna look too hard if I can't find one soon. I'll just tame a low-level female and we'll breed these. Kinda curious of what a baby moth looks like and what their egg looks like. Female 40, this will work. Yo, stop! Land! Okay, there we go. Yeah, this is a bit weird with like the meshes when you tint them. All right, and we're gonna mating pair. We're gonna head back to base and breed these. It is getting crowded in this base. We definitely have to move soon. Um, by the way, here's a doad from the island. Thought I'd show that off. Um, yeah, it's it's very tight in here. Let's go ahead and put them on breeding. I have a feeling it's gonna be like a bloodstalker's egg. Yep. Hold it. Can you actually pick it up? Oh, you can! Oh! It's a little. It definitely didn't get the stats, I don't think. Ooh, this is a silk farm. I just realized that. I can use this to get silk on maps that I normally couldn't get. Gotta see this imprint. Let me turn off HOD. Wait, it's a walk, right? Where are you going? Oh, it doesn't do anything. Unless it ate and it cancelled it. Well, I'm gonna breed these and try and get one with all the stats, and then we'll come back. Um, oh, we can make a fabricator now. Another thing I need the crystal for that and a water jar. I'm tired of using the camel for water because I can't exactly pack it in my pocket yet. Oh, uh, as you can see there, we got a ton of metal. Uh, I farmed up a bunch more, put it in the forges, and let it smell overnight. Oh wow, we have like no room now. Uh, I need some gas somewhere. So I would love to make the incubator. Where's that? What do we need? Ooh. Yeah, we need to get our tech pair of farm going. And unfortunately, there's no beaver dams on Scorch, so you gotta make it all manually. Okay, Jerry, I got a very important task for you. Take your time. Okay, so we got a 166. I think that's the best we can get. Maybe. I'm not really too concerned, honestly. Yeah, it looks about right. I feel like it stands a bit low, but... Oh well. Almost got it. <laughs> oh, 
Oh, I done no difference. Good job, little buddy. Alright, so I want to make some canteens and some cryopods. So I'm going to go out here and kill some mantis. Harvest them up with a pick. Place down some spike walls. I should aggro onto them. Oh, come on. This map is so aggressive. Alright, there's one dead. Is that two? It's two. Alright, I'm just gonna go ahead and harvest these. 25, that's nothing. Ah, no, 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 no. Why? Don't pass out. On. Just as long as I make it over this ridge. Oh, we didn't. Okay. How much is that? 25. That's not enough. Alright, I'm just gonna fly over. Hopefully it dies. There's another one right there. I love how dumb the AI is, so it can just do this kind of stuff. Unless you're, they're tamed and they're dumb, then it's annoying. These heat waves are insane. I'm inside an adobe house, I made a ghillie hat, and I'm still burning up. I have full, full desert on as well. I'm dying. This is ridiculous. You know what sucks a bit? The fact that the ghillie is better than the desert cloth which is made for the map. Because I really want to wire a desert cloth, but unless I get a good BP, there's just there's really not a point. Just look, hypothermic insulation, 25. 30. They're all like, the ghillie's slightly better. I'm just going to make some ghillie on the cheaper parts. Also, just do full ghillie. Because I'm still overheating. There we go. See? So much better. Perfectly fine. Well, still a little hot, but not burning alive. Hopefully we find some better desert cloth, because I think it's just fitting. Just a bit disappointed that it doesn't cool you down, considering it's made for this map. It doesn't cool you down like it should. Now to make one of the greatest improvements for Scorched Earth. Boom. That's it. took way longer than it should have. Alright, I think I finally have everything I need to make some cryopods. I was going to craft it at Green Knob, but there's a bunch of Capros there, and no. Just not doing that. I quickly threw everything in here. Also made some oil pumps. I don't know why I put that there. there. Uh... I have no idea what I put the adobe in there. I was trying to say before I just stumbled over my words like I often do. Make as many as we can before we go. Imagine a death worm just like pops up. Alright, going to place down our first oil pump. Actually got an oil vein really close to base here. That'll make us a ton of oil over time. Need to find another one. I know there's a bunch over that way. Alright, so the goals of this episode was to get moths and uh, breed them, which we did, and show off the new base location. Um, so, 
do basic stuff and get the fabricator, which we already did. Cryopods, all that. Great progress, but anyway. This is the base location. It's, there's nothing here yet. I've still got a lot of work to do. Um, I just think this is a really cool spot. It's between this, a flat spot near Green Ob, and the church cave over there. I really wanted to build the church cave because it's 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 a natural structure, It'd be easy, but I want to see all my progress, right? And with a cave, you kind of just gotta run through it all. You can't just look at it like you can an open base like this. You can't just like fly up and look at it all. Um, maybe I like caves because I played PvP for so long. But um, yeah, this is it. Tons of crystal, tons of resources. Unfortunately, a lot of that will get blocked, but harvesting it will be very rewarding. We shouldn't need much after we're done. But uh, I think this would just be a cool build. It's decently flat. Uh, there's only like two ways up. I'll show you that. I'll show you cords too while I'm talking about it. Um, can't believe the ghillie still does that. Yeah, around 80, 80, 65 ish. But yeah, there's just uh, two walkways up here. That being one goes down to that lake, which it's it's quite far from water, but I mean, I'm just gonna have to take a day to run the pipe up. Loads of metal, like look at all the metal. I could put like a gate here on this part. I already have one adobe behemoth. Just need to make one more. And nothing can get up that side. And then there's one more walkway up. These monsters are so slow. There's one more walkway up right there, which I can block. There are rock golems, but I mean, I can't really kill them yet, but I can lead them away. They're very easy to lead away, especially with flyers. Uh, in this, I guess something could walk up, but I'm just going to... I'm going to uh, mesh some foundations underneath it so you don't see it, but it blocks spawns so we don't have uh, an ugly spam around, but we don't have to worry about wild creatures. Uh, one of the only threats for this area is RGs. I guess there's RGs around here. I'll try to... Once I have wyverns on terra mode, though, it won't be an issue. That and the occasional wild wyvern. Hopefully it doesn't find its way up here. That'd be horrible. Um, but yeah. I just thought I'd show you guys the base, and you guys can see the progression in the next video. I don't like showing building too much. Uh, me. It's just very... For me, building, it's very slow. Because I changed my mind so many times. But, yep. Hopefully, next episode, you guys will see a whole base here. Or at least a good starting bit of it. But anyway, oh, I was damn. Thanks for watching, and I hope to see you in the next one. Bye.